If you don't have a kitchen or if it's really hot where you are, or if you just don't feel like cooking, then today's video is for you. It's getting really hot here in the Netherlands. We hit the mid 30s last week and I don't know about you, but when it's that hot outside, I just don't feel like cooking over a stove or having the oven heat up the entire apartment. So today we're whipping together some no cook meals. Let's get started. First up, we're making one of my favorite summertime meals, the salad roll. This one being served with a creamy peanut and hoisin sauce. To start, I'm grabbing about a couple handfuls of these brown rice vermicelli noodles, which I'm gonna let sit in boiling water for a few minutes to soften first. I'm gonna do the same thing with half a cup of frozen edamame beans, which will be one of the main protein sources for this dish. Next, we're gonna make the peanut sauce by adding a quarter cup of peanut butter to a bowl, along with a quarter cup of hoisin sauce and the juice from half a lime. Then give it a mix, and if you want your dip to be a thinner consistency, just add a small splash of water, mix it some more until you get the consistency that you like. Next, we're gonna prepare the veggies for the roll. Here we thinly sliced two bell peppers, a red one and a yellow one. And using a potato peeler, we're gonna cut thin strips out of half of a cucumber, omitting the seeds in the middle, which just don't peel very well. We're then gonna do the same thing with a carrot, peeling it into little thin ribbons. You could also just use a knife and cut these into thin strips, but peeling them like this means there aren't any sharp edges that might pierce and break through the rice paper. We're then also going to de-seed and slice up some ripe avocado. Once you've drained the water from the edamame and rice noodles, we can then start to create our salad rolls. First, we're gonna add some lukewarm water to a shallow bowl. Then dip your rice paper into the bowl and let it sit for about 10 seconds or until it's lightly softened. The rice paper will continue to soften even after it's removed from the water, so don't over soak it. Otherwise, the paper is likely gonna break when you roll it. So then we can remove the paper from the water, let the excess water drip off and transfer it to a large plate and then top it with your desired fillings. So the rice noodles, the bell pepper, the peeled cucumber and carrot strips. For a pop of color, we're adding some shredded purple cabbage, the edamame and the sliced avocados. And then you're just gonna roll it like you would a burrito, flipping over each side first, then give it the good old flip, tuck and roll while applying a gentle pressure. Cut it using a sharp knife if you'd like. You could also just leave them whole and then set it aside. That's pretty much all it takes. The variations with this one are also endless. It's a refreshing and light meal that you can pack full of all sorts of veggies to help you soak up all that delicious sauce. This next recipe is a creamy and crunchy chickpea filling that can be used to make a wholesome sandwich. We're gonna start by draining and rinsing a jar of cooked chickpeas, then add it to a bowl and mash it with a fork until it's flaky. Next, we're gonna toast some whole grain bread and then we're gonna add the remainder of the fillings to the chickpea mash. We're gonna start with a quarter cup of vegan mayo or you can substitute this with tahini if you'd prefer. We're then adding a quarter cup of roasted sunflower seeds and then we're gonna finely chop half of a small red onion as well as half of a bell pepper and a quarter cup or so worth of dill pickles. And if you're in love with dill pickles as much as I am, you can feel free to add a bit more here if you'd like. We're then gonna add two tablespoons of fresh dill with the stems removed and again, finely chopped. Finally, we're adding a tablespoon or so of optional but highly recommended chives, thinly sliced, and that's it. Give it a mix until it's all well combined, mashing a bit as you go to extract some of the juices and flavors, and then add it generously to your toasted bread. This chickpea filling works wonderfully in a sandwich like this one, but you can also add it to a wrap with fillings like tomatoes, olives, or lettuce, or just enjoy it as a salad on a bed of lettuce. It also works incredibly well as a dip for veggies or crackers. The last recipe is one of my latest obsessions. I wanted to share a salad recipe that's super filling and satisfying with a flavorful and bold protein source. So first we're gonna create a Mexican inspired spice mix. To a small jar, we're gonna add a teaspoon each of garlic powder, paprika powder, ground cumin, chili powder, and onion powder half a teaspoon of salt and about a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Then we're gonna give it a mix. We're then gonna drain and rinse a jar of cooked lentils, adding it to a bowl and adding a teaspoon of olive oil and mixing it to coat. Then we're gonna coarsely chop a quarter cup of roasted sunflower seeds and about half a cup of walnuts as well, adding this to the bowl along with four teaspoons of the taco spice mix. Then we're gonna give it all a mix until everything is well combined and set it aside. What's also gonna give this salad a lovely crunch is crushing a large handful of tortillas with your hands into a bowl. We're gonna add this to the salad as a topping a little bit later. And back to making the salad, we're gonna use some greens as the base. Here we used half a head of iceberg lettuce and about half a head of romaine lettuce, thinly slicing or ripping it with your hands into a large bowl. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we're gonna chop the veggies for the salad, adding about one red bell pepper, de-seeded and diced, half of a cucumber, diced, a large tomato, also chopped, and about half a cup of fresh corn. Now that the salad base is done, we're gonna make the saucy toppings. It's what packs the salad full of flavor. We're gonna be making a cashew lime cream and a guacamole. So to make the cashew cream, we're gonna add half a cup of raw cashews to a food processor, along with a third a cup of boiling water and the juice from one lime. Then give it a blitz until it's creamy and set it aside. For the guacamole, you could do this store-bought, but if you wanna make it yourself, we're gonna add one ripe avocado to a bowl and mash it until it's as creamy as you can make it. Then we're gonna add in three cloves of garlic that have been crushed and half of a small red onion, finely diced. The juice from one lime and then the spices, a teaspoon of ground cumin and half a teaspoon of salt. Then mix this and then you're done. For some extra fun, we made a super quick and easy lemonade, margarita inspired. The recipe for this is also on the blog post, so check out the link in the description box below if you'd like to make your own. So all that's left for this recipe is just the assembly. We're gonna add a generous amount of the spice lentil mixture to the salad base. We're then gonna top it with a crushed tortilla chips, a small handful of Kalamata olives. We're gonna add a drizzle of sriracha hot sauce, optional, but it's great if you like it spicy. The cashew cream is poured on top. We're gonna add a generous dollop of the guacamole and some optional store-bought salsa too, if you'd like. And to garnish, we're gonna add some sliced red chili and fresh coriander, and there you have it. It's a flavorful, wholesome, super hearty and filling, delicious lentil taco salad. So these were three recipes, perfect if it's summer where you are, if you live in a really hot country, or even if it's fall or winter and they just look good and you wanna make it, cause why not? I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It always means a lot when you do. And if you have any requests for future videos you'd like to see, recipe videos or otherwise, I'll see you guys in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching Big Up Limes, signing off, and we'll see you in the next video.